Let's solve this question on longitudes and latitudes. The figure below shows points on the earth surface. So you can see the figure there. We have point A, B, C, and D. Part A, state the positions of A, B, and C in coordinate form. Three marks. Then part B, an aircraft flies from A to B along latitude 40 degrees north, B to C along longitude 30 degrees east, C to D along latitude 40 degrees south, and then flew back to A along longitude 30 degrees west. Calculate to two decimal places the total distance it covered. Take radius of the earth to be 6370 kilometers and pi to be 22 over 7. And then the last question. If the aircraft leaves A at 8 a.m. local time, at an average speed of 720 kilometers per hour to B, what local time does it? Or is it expected at B? Give your answer to the nearest minute. Remarks. So let's go to the first part. Uh, the first part you're supposed to state the positions of uh, A, B, and C in coordinate form. So when you're locating these places, remember that we are supposed to state that is in coordinate form. We state the latitude and then the longitude. That is how we give the positions in coordinate form. So let's go to A. <clears throat> so for A, uh, A is located on latitude 40 degrees north. So that will be 40 degrees north. And uh, the longitude is 30 degrees west. 30 degrees west. So that is how we give uh, the position. Let's go to B. B is located on which latitude? 40 degrees north. Then the longitude is 30 degrees east. Like that. And then we go to C. C is located on latitude 40 degrees south. So this would be 40 degrees south. And um, 30 degrees east. 30 degrees east. So those are the positions of A, B, and C in coordinate form. At B. An aircraft flies from A to B along the latitude 40 degrees north, B to C along the longitude 30 degrees east, C to D along the latitude 40 degrees south, and then flew back to A along the longitude 30 degrees west. Calculate correct to two decimal places that total distance is covered. Take radius of the earth to be 6370 kilometers pi into over 7. So we shall get these uh, distances in parts. So we shall begin by a to B, then you go B to C, then you add the total distance. So let's go to A to B. We start with A to B. So we identify. So let me first divide this space. So you're going to identify. We identify the positions of A and B. So look at A and B. So A, B is distance along the parallel of latitudes or distance along the small circle. So how do we get that distance? Uh, to get distance AB, we are going to use this formula. This is how we get the distance in kilometers. So theta, which is the longitude difference, 360, 2 pi r, cosine of alpha, where theta will be the longitude difference between the two places. That is the longitude difference. And then alpha is the latitude angle the latitude angle and that one you're going to get by the latitude on which the two places lie. So that is how we get the distance along the parallel of latitudes of the small circle in kilometers. Now let's go to now distance AB. So distance AB obtain it by theta, the longitude difference. Let's get the longitude difference between the two places. So A is on longitude uh, 30 degrees west so 30 degrees west and b is on 30 degrees east so to get the longitude difference when you have one place to the east the other one to the west we add so the longitude difference will be given by 30 plus 30 that is uh, 60 degrees so therefore uh, longitude difference is 60 so we have uh, 60 degrees divided by 
360 multiply by 2 pi 2 pi r radius of the earth times the cosine of the latitude angle both a and b are lying on 40 degrees north and therefore the latitude angle is 40 degrees so that is what you're supposed to multiply and get the answer use a calculator to work out these so when you multiply these you will get uh, 5 1 1 2 0 0.07 kilometers now that is how we get this dist uh, distance a b now let's go to b to c b to c b to c so we go to the diagram identify that distance uh, b to c so moving this is a uh, distance along the meridian along these are longitude b to c so distance along the longitude or along the meridian is distance along the great circle so bc is distance along the great circle so how do we get distance along the great circle in kilometers so bc we obtained we get it by taking theta divided by 360 multiply by 2 pi r this is how we, we, we get the distance along the grid circle in kilometers. Where theta, this time round, theta will be the latitude difference. Remember these places B and C are located on different latitudes. So that is where we get the latitude difference, but the same longitude. So the latitude difference will be uh, B is 40 degrees north, C is 40 degrees south. So we add to get the difference we add 40 plus 40 that will be 80 so 80 degrees is the longitude uh, the latitude difference i mean that latitude difference so therefore latitude difference uh, will be uh, 60 not 60 but 80 sorry 80 degrees that is 40 plus 40 divided by 360 multiply by 2 pi r and this will give 80 divided by 360 times 2 times pi times the radius of the earth and this is going to give this will give um, 8897 8897.78 kilometers that is distance bc which is distance along the grid circle. Uh, remember the formula is the latitude difference, which is uh, 40 plus 40, you get 80, then multiply by 2 pi r. Now from there we move from B, now C to D. We have moved from A to B, then B to C, now we are C to D. So C to D is distance along the parallel of latitudes or the small circle and um, that one we have the formula we give the formula we get the distance there is uh, given by theta over 360 2 pi r cos alpha so when you look at it it is the same distance with the a to b everything remains the same the longitude difference will be the same one is on longitude 30 degrees east that is c and then d is on longitude 30 degrees west so the longitude difference will be 30 plus 30 to be the same 60 so that one uh it like this eh? so now c to d so longitude difference is 60 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r 6370 cosine of both of these places c and d lie on 40 degrees south so the latitude angle is 40 so if you notice uh, that distance will be the same with the A, B, it's the same thing, because the longitude difference is the same, the latitude angle is the same. So we get the same distance, 5112.07 kilometers. Then back to A, it flew back to A. So now from C to D, we shall go to A. So from D, we move to A. So D, A is the next distance. DA is the same distance with uh, BC because um, these two places D and A lie on different longitude uh, latitudes but on the same longitude. Both D and A lie on 
the same longitude that is 30 degrees west but different latitudes so together distance we say that distance is um along the great circle <clears throat> it's distance along the great circle therefore we get the distance along the great circle by this formula theta over 360 to pi r where theta is the latitude difference they are located on different latitudes so we work it out so latitude is uh, 40 degrees north 40 degrees south so the latitude difference will be 40 plus 40 that will be 80 so da we get 40 plus 40 which will give 80 the latitude difference divide by 360 apply by 2 times pi r the radius of the earth is 63 70 and this will give the same same distance we got from b to c you can see everything is the same so this is 88 97.78 kilometers now that is all now what is remaining is now to get the total distance of which you're going to add so total distance be given by a to b which is a 55511 2.07 uh, then we have to multiply by 2 because of uh, the same distance with cd cd we multiply by 2 and then plus b to c is uh, 88 97.78 kilometers then we have to multiply by 2 because of da da and bc are the same so they are two so when you work out that so you have uh, 5.12.07 times 2 plus 8897.78 times 2. So this gives uh, 28,000. Get 28,019.70. That is correct two decimal places kilometers. So that is how you work out that part. Go to the last part. Uh, the, if the aircraft leaves A at 8 a.m. local time at an average speed of 720 kilometers per hour to B, at what local time does, is it expected at B? Give your answer to the nearest minute. So this aircraft leaves uh, A at 8 a.m. local time at an average speed of uh, 720 uh, kilometers then to B. So one thing we need to get is the time taken from a to B, the time taken from A to B. And how do we get time? We get it by taking the distance AB divided by the speed. Now we already have the distance A to B. We calculated the distance A to B there as a 5112. That is a 5112.07 kilometers. Then we have the speed 720 kilometers per hour. This one will give us the time taken. And this will give um, 7.1 hours. 7.1 hours is the same as 7 hours. And the 1 over 10 of, of 60, this will be 6 minutes. So that is the total time taken from A to B. That is the total time taken from A to B. Now from them, uh, now the aircraft left uh, A. And uh, A is... Um, time there is 8 a.m. and then the time taken is uh, 7 hours and 6 minutes so it is expected to arrive at 15.06 hours that is not the answer because it is crossing to a different longitude so the longitude of A the longitude of A is um, a is uh, 30 degrees west 30 degrees west so a is uh, 30 degrees west then b is uh, 30 degrees east so there will be a time difference so the local time at b will not be 1506 so there will be time difference between the two places when you cross uh, different longitudes there's always a difference in time so to get the time difference between a and b we shall consider the longitudes so 30 degrees west and 30 degrees east so we get the longitude difference so the longitude difference between the two 
will be 30 plus 30 which will be 60 degrees and then for every one degree there is a difference of four minutes so what about 60 60 degrees will have a difference of uh, 60 times 4 240 minutes 240 minutes is equivalent to when you divide it by 60 that is equivalent to four hours so that means that between a and b there's a time difference of four hours and places to the east are always ahead of time so when you look at a a is to the west 30 degrees west b is 30 degrees east so b will be ahead of time by four hours as compared to a so therefore uh when it is a uh, 1506 at um, a the local time will be four hours more so at b therefore we need to take uh 1506 hours and then we add four hours four hours so it will be 1906 hours or you can write this one as 706 pm that will be the local time at b and it will be brought about by the differences in longitudes so that is how you're supposed to solve that question